Okay, so I've had um, a few issues raised on Nodemon recently, which are pretty high profile, um, and uh, they've been closed. Uh, but I thought it might be worth kind of recording through what my workflow a little bit is like for Nodemon, um, just to kind of share. Um, so I've got a few open issues. Um, uh, the seven at the moment, um, but also I have a stale bot that runs on um, the GitHub issues. And if there's no like comments over two, two weeks, I think it's automatically marked as going to close. Um, and then if a week there's still no comments, it would just automatically close. So it's kind of self-maintaining if, if no one really cares about the issue. So I've got this one here, which um, has actually come up before. It's um, The issue is uh, they're watching a bunch of files um, and file extensions and um, here they're saying when foo.env uh, changes, then Nodemon restarts, but if uh, .env changes, it doesn't restart. And I've had the similar issue where, I can't remember what they were watching, but it's the same thing where it was a, a file name that had no file name. It just had an extension. Um, so I know Nodemon won't pick this up. I can't remember why it doesn't pick it up, um, but I want to show you kind of how I would approach this. So, um, with uh, this project, because it's open source and has a fair amount of usage, I actually have a, a directory called um, issues, which is um, excluded from Nodemon's repo, but it is actually up on uh, GitHub. Um, I think it's uh, Nodemon test cases, something like that. Yeah, here we go. So it's basically just a, a directory of issue number and then how to replicate the actual issue. And then I work against that to try and fix it. So I'm going to create a directory called uh, uh, 1443 in issues, make dir3, jump into it, um, and I don't actually need to npm in it. I've got this standard app.js, do I have an app.js? Uh, index.js, I'll do, call it index.js, um, and all that is just a, a quick web server. Um, and then I'm going to add uh, two files, um, echo foo. So what I'm trying to do is basically replicate their, their situation here, um, foo.env. And I'm going to make another one called uh, var equals car in dot foo. Um, OK, so um, we're going to have to edit the index file. So we can actually see the changes working. Um, and in fact, actually, I don't even need to do this. I can do um, console.log uh, process.env foo. Um, just foo. And I'm going to do oops. OK, so if I do nodemon. Okay, so I didn't pick up the environment variables. Let's do that as well. Um, I'm going to init dot f. So I need something to read the environment variables. I've got my own uh, project called at remy mv, um, which will load in all the, uh, the environment variable files of the dot m files. Um, so if I add that project, yeah, my vi is a little bit slow to load. Mv. No more. Oh, I need to do mv equals env uh, mode m equals what two. Oh, sakes. Uh, let's move that to local dot foo local dot env. Okay, I'll try. Ah, oh, for heaven's sakes! Right, so this isn't even a good start anyway. Um, let's open this up in the VS Code. Uh, so the environment variable here is not picking up this one. It should be picking up both. Um, pretty sure it's local.env. Or is it env.local? Let's have a quick look at how my Remy MV works. It's basically lifted mostly from um, create, create React app. Um, Local. What's it asking me to use? 
Okay, so let's rename this file correctly. Right, right that works. Okay, so I'm going to quieten down Nobon, and every time I restart, cool. Okay, so um, now I'm going to do watch, um, I'm going to do verbose so I can see exactly what's happening. Um, and I'm going to do um, dash, dash watch. I uh, know oh it's ex, ext, um, js, env. Right, so, oh, mm. I don't know if that's going to work. Let's have a look. Um, so make a change here, cut uh, bar, bar. Yeah, it doesn't work because it's dot local file. So let's do local. Doesn't work at all. Um, uh, because hidden file. Ah, oh, gosh. Um. Okay, so half the problem here is actually even replicating the issue. And because they've described the problem, but they don't tell me how to replicate it, it's kind of, it's kind of hard. Um, all right, so let's change this, this thing to be uh, requirefs.read uh, const read equals requirefs.read file sync. I'm pretty sure that's the, uh, Function name, yep, it's cool. And then what we're going to do is um, rename this back, rename to uh, foo, cool. And then we're going to do um, const foo equals read. Foo utf8 bar. Okay, let's give that a try. Okay, so it's already kind of going on, coming up to 10 minutes just to be able to see what the hell's going on. Um, okay, so now apparently we're watching .js and uh, index it. Another kind of workflow thing I'll do is I'll actually switch into using um, VS Code to do this. Um, annoyingly, I can't remember how to put my my terminal over into the right, which is quite frustrating. I want to just put it there. I don't know how to. How do I split? I'll just have to put it there. Um, let's bump the font up on this a little bit. Let's get rid of the browser. And then I'm just going to run Nobmon on a loop. Uh, and I'm going to clear the console here as well just to make things a little bit easier. Clear. Okay, so. I'm kind of losing the output of what it's watching. Nope, I don't want to clear that. Okay, let's try again. Okay, so we see it. Um, so now what we want to do is see if we can change, um, let's change the foo file. Foo uh, equals foo changed. Okay, so that works. And when we watch uh, bar, bar, that doesn't watch. Okay, so, um, now I need to look at why uh, why it's being missed, so I can do um, have a debug mode. Uh, debug equals nobmon star. It's going to tell me everything that's going on inside nobmon. Um, yeah, it doesn't even see the file being changed. If I change this one, oops, you can see kind of everything that happens. So. Um, finished and it was watching so it triggered a, uh, a restart filter on the foo.env 
uh, it shows me the rules it has, checks that it matches a rule, then um, does like a second check uh, based on kind of what's ignored and what's not, and then it says triggering a change. When we do that in uh, EMV, nothing happens at all. So it's not even seen. Um, so uh, this is now where we go on to debugging the problem. Um, so I'm going to kill Nodemon here, uh, go off to Nodemon, the actual source code to Nodemon, um, and uh, watch, monitor watch is basically where he collects all the files. So it's not even in uh, the list of files being collected. I think if we go back, I don't think it lists the number of files. So um, we've got listeners. What you want to do is emit an event to say, oh, here we go. Yeah, that, that's, so this is what it says. Uh, it's not correctly saying. It's, it's, it notifies what it's actually watching. So um, we can see it's watching JSON uh, automatically. Um, and it's watching uh, the EMV file, but it's not watching um, the like file name -less file. And that's down to here, this, this blob of code. So um, we've got ignored files. Uh, this dot file. So um, this, I'm sure this I mean, there's a in Nobon there's actually there must be an option to say watch dot files dot files nope um, let's have a look at view. Oh, nope. Okay. Um, dot file pattern. Uh, don't ignore if explicitly watched. Okay. So I think this is saying. Um, ignored. Add. Dot file. Dump that in there. If we run it again. I'm pretty sure my node mon is the one. I need to um, npm link. So when I do node mon v, it tells me what version of node mon I'm running. Um, and actually, that's the globally installed one. I don't really want to do that one. I want to use the uh, the version I'm working from. So now, when I check it, if I do dash v, I can see I'm running off the uh, the master branch. So if I go back to my code base uh, example. Um, Try and run again. Oh, I want to add a hidden file. Watch. So that should be. Oh, let's add debug to that. Debug equals nodemon star. Okay, so now it's only watching the .env file, which I think is wrong. Yep. Bar bar bar. So it works on that one, but not the other one. Um, so I think I can do dash dash watch dot. There we go. So I need to explicitly watch the dot file, which is kind of crap. But it's working. So I can now post a workaround to say that it, it does work, but this is how you have to do it. Um, I wonder if um, that would work. I guess it's only ever going to be one extensionless file. Um, I guess that's the workaround. I guess so. From here, rather than making more changes in Nodemon, the um, one of the um, the design principles, which is kind of down here, is that um, less features. Um, so I want to build on top of what Nodemon already offers. Um, so this particular issue, I can actually say, to do, to do what you're trying to do, you need to explicitly watch the .env file and then tell it to watch the directory that you want to watch, uh, which feels like a little bit of double work, but it's um, it's because we don't watch hidden files by default. Um, 
and then I would add it to the FAQ. So that's the solution.